Okay, guys, I'm gonna break into this hive because I wanna show you guys something. It's uh, in the evening, so we're, uh, we're gonna try to get in and out of here pretty quick. But uh, the other day, when I uh, kinda fixed the mess that these bees made, there were some people concerned about uh, the way we banded up the comb. There was some, um, you know, just people worrying about whether or not they were gonna be able to uh, draw that comb out um, straight and uh, uh, leave me with something that uh, I can get in here and, uh, you know, do inspections without it, you know, being bridge comb and everything else. If you'll remember, I had medium frames down here in the bottom box. And of course, they drew out comb on the bottom. And so I had to get that off of there. Instead of throwing it out, I, uh, I put it up here in a uh, medium super so that it wouldn't be wasted. All right, now this first frame is probably not the frame that anybody was concerned about because I had banded it close to the top. Now you see the brood did survive. The brood's hatching out. We didn't kill any brood. They're chewing these rubber bands out. See, they've already got this one disconnected here completely, one that went from corner to corner. When they get them like that, I like to go ahead and remove them. But uh, you can see they're doing just fine with this. So we're gonna put this back. And we're gonna go over two frames. Now this one was one of the ones that they had built out the comb on the bottom of, right? So this is fully drawn out. Let's check this cup while we're in here and uh, see if it's dry. It's dry, so we're fine with that. Quick scan for the queen. I doubt she's up here in the top right now. Don't see her. And we're gonna jump over to the next uh, frame that we banded up. And this, I think, is probably what people were most concerned about. This rubber band looks like it's free. Whoops, probably gonna piss them off. So pull that off. Here's what people were most likely concerned about. See, when I put these in, they were sitting right on the bottom bar. And you would think, well, how are they gonna attach that? But as you can see, bees will build comb up from the bottom up without any problem. And if you'll notice this, I mean, I can take these rubber bands off now if I want to, but I don't want them to pop and cause a problem. But look right in there underneath that rubber band. You can see a bee's even starting to chew her way out there. They had no problem going up and connecting this to the top bar. So these frames, they have a strip right here to where you can uh, hammer in your wax foundation. All I do is I take those and turn them up on their end so that the uh, uh, the center of the top bar is the lowest point. Now that's going to make it to where they'll draw and connect the wax to that instead of connecting it to this edge right here or something silly like that. And there was one more frame in here that they uh, that I put banded up um, wax on. And let's check that to make sure that we didn't just get lucky on that last one. I'll show you guys that this is consistent. Here you go. Now, if you'll go back and watch the other video, this was just one piece of, of wax, about half the, uh, the height of the frame, all the way along the bottom. And if you'll notice over here on this side, they built the comb up from the bottom, going up and attached it to the top bar. Now, of course, I've known bees will do this because I got my bees from cutouts. And I would see in cavities where bees were building wax up. So I just kind of seen that in the wild and known they could do it. I just thought I might show you guys this because it makes more sense that they would draw the comb from the top down, which they do, but they can also draw the comb from the bottom up, as you can see right here. No queen up here, I think she's in the bottom. I'm not gonna go through and do a, a full on inspection here. I just wanted to show you guys that comb so nobody was worried that I was gonna have a mess still on my hands after we did all that work um, in the last video. Not the last video on my channel, but the last video that I did on um, Earl's, Earl's girls here. And I'll probably stick this in the playlist. Um, so if you wanna go back and see the video where I had to uh, remove all that uh, wonky comb and band it up and put it up in here, you can do that by uh, clicking on the uh, 
the playlist icon at the end. I'll make a little uh, I'll make a little shortcut to it. So.